action. And to mark the occasion, college leaders are unearthing a time capsule. Nan Wynn joins us live with a preview now. Hi, Nan. Yeah, that's what we talked about in the last hour. So they'll be opening this time capsule, but this event or this thing that they're doing at noon on Saturday is actually part of a bigger event involving these babies. Cars. One, this one will be one of about 100 cars that are going to be here for the Centennial Car Show, one for every year the school has been around on this campus. So this one right here is the 1953 Ford Woody. I learned all of this this morning, named because of the wood paneling on the side of the car. Beautiful. Now, Paul Chris, shout out to him. This is his car. I wanted to also give a shout out to his wife, Leela, because she put up with what we're calling this car, also known as the other woman, for the last year as he was in the process of remodeling it and using it for this show. She's a good wife. So, we're, so we're talking about the seats here are awesome, but you know what's also great to sit in? Boom, the back of this car. And hanging out here already is we have Dan. He was the one helping us coordinate the segment with Hulisa, actually, to tell us all about this big car show event. Why did you guys decide to uh, go back in time with cars? Well, we decided that we've been having all multiple events throughout the whole centennial year. Uh, and it just came up one day. We said, wouldn't it be fun to have a car for every year that the campus has been open from 1916 to 2016? And on top of that, we wanted to add a, a, a modern effect. So, so uh, SMUD is going to have their cars, their electric cars down here. So we're going to have electric cars and we're going to have antique cars and we're going to have everything in between. Uh, it's going to be a great event. It's uh, 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock um, this Saturday. It's free, free parking. Free 99, everybody's favorite price. Yep, free is a good, good family event. Uh, so there's no, no fee for parking on campus, which is a little unusual, mm -hmm. and um, uh, it's going to be great. But we have a couple places left. So if someone wants to get their car in the car show, if they just call my office, which is at Sacramento City College Foundation office, and the number is 558-2197, then we'll see if we have a slot for your car uh, because we want to make sure that we get as uh, many of as we can, and it's going to be a fun event. We're going to have... Decade row, where you saw the time capsules, mm -hmm. we're going to have a car for every decade. So the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, you know, so it'll be out there on Freeport Boulevard for everybody to see. Come see our beautiful campus. Um, it's just a fabulous uh, 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 year. It's a great way to end our centennial year. I love it. So if you guys are interested, as he said, contact him. Again, the event's happening this weekend and it's free. You don't really have an excuse not to go. And I just wanted to put out there, to add some authenticity to this particular car, we were thinking that it needs a surfboard. So if you have one that we can borrow to just make this a little bit more time, you know, for 1953, throw a little board up there, bring it on down. So again, <laughs> head out here this weekend for the Centennial Car Show well, at Sac right. City College. I've got my stand-up paddleboard, so that's kind of like, you know, that'll, that'll work right now. Thank you, Nat. Thanks a lot.